Hello and welcome to part 5 of this web HTML, CSS, and JavaScript web design course. So as you can see now, we have a paragraph inside of the paragraph tag here. Today, if, now, as you can see in the website, this is our previous work, as you can see in the website, we have what we wrote there. Now let's say we want to make it a different color. In order to do that, you write style, color, and then Visual Studio Code should automatically write that for you by typing color and then control space and then click enter or you can just type it out by writing color colon and then the color that you want let's say we want to make it blue then we type blue and then we add a semicolon you click save and then because this is modifying this single tag this paragraph text should become blue now if you refresh it has, you can see that it's become blue. Now, let's say that we have, we've, we've, we haven't made the style yet and we've made multiple paragraphs like this. Now we have to go through each one of these paragraphs and then type style and then add the color. And then add st write style and then add color and then add blue. So instead of doing that, we can assign a class to each of these tags and then use that in, an ex in, an, in a style that's inside of the header, inside of the header tag. You may not understand this now, but just hang with me and then I will show you, I'll, and then you'll understand at the end of this video. So we write class and then let's call it paragraph text. Now we can just copy this and then paste this here in each of the paragraph tags. Now if we refresh, you may see that you may see now that there are multiple paragraphs but nothing's happened yet. That's because we haven't assigned anything to these classes. So to make another style, we can make a styled tag that'll contain all of the styles for this page. We do that in the head tag. We write style, and then we close the tag. And then inside, we write dot. Dot stands for a class, okay? Dot means, it's a, when we write dot, it, it means that we can now write the name of a class that we want to edit. So we write PGR text, the name of the class, of our class and then we make an open bracket and a closed bracket and then we press enter we click enter and then we can write what kind of style we want to add to the text so just like before we want to make the color blue so just like before color semicolon blue color colon blue and then semicolon now if we press save now all of the tags that have the class name the class name pgr text will become blue if we refresh, you can see that they've all become blue now. Now, PGR text. Now you can you can assign multiple class names to each tag. So let's say you want to make this bottom tag. We want to make we uh, we let's say we want to move the tag to the to the left, okay? Or we want to add padding to the left. To add padding means to add space to to the to whatever side we want to add it to but we only want it to affect this paragraph so we assign our own class let's name it pg text control c and then we go and then we click we type dot and then control v and then open bracket and close bracket now we can type padding because we want to add padding to where we want to move it and we add what side we want to add padding we want to add padding to the left of it to push it to the side because we want it to think that there's already something there so padding left and then we can write what how many pixels or we can use whatever increment we want but i'm going to use pixels so let's say we want 50 pixels of padding so we write 50 px for pixels control s and then we, if we refresh, 
you can see that this paragraph text was moved to the side, to the, to the right actually, because there was padding on this side. Now, the, the reason that we add style over here is because we, it's not recommended in programming HTML to add the style inside it, inside of a tag. But it's also not recommended to add it inside of your header. So the, a solution to this, or to make your life easier, is to use an external style sheet. This is called CSS. CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheets. We click add and then we click let's just say let's name it styles dot CSS and then if we click enter now we can write whatever we wrote in here I'm just gonna cut it we can write whatever we wrote there and then paste it in here and then we click save and then we can just delete this style tag now if we go back to our page nothing will happen when we refresh this is because HTML, our HTML page, doesn't know to take styles from that page. To take styles from our external style sheet. So to do that, we have to link it. We have to add a link. So there's a tag named link. And then we name it link. And then rel. And then we type style sheet. And then href. And then we type the location of our style sheet. And then we can close the tag. You can close tags that do not need any text in between them or aren't containers by just adding a slash in front of them. Now if we click save and then go back and then refresh, you can see that all of our previous styles have come back. The next, another tag that I want to tell you about is the A tag. If we type A and then href, href is just a location. As you can see, we we'll used it here too. It defined the location of our style sheet. This will define a location that we should redirect to. So first, we, we don't have any locations to redirect to. So we should actually create an H, another HTML file. We can call this file uh, about us dot html. So just like normal, we write html and then head and then title about us. And then inside the html, we type body and then about us. In fact, we can use the h1 tag that we learned about in the previous lesson then type about us. Now in, in the href, we can give it the location of about us, dot slash, and then about us. And then in between the a, open the open tag and the closing tag, we have to write text so that it can give us an actual redirect. So it can give us text to click to redirect us. So let's write about us or actually go to about us. And now if we click save and then refresh, you see a link, you can tell it's a link because it's underlined. You can see a link that says go to about us. So now if we click the link, we've been redirected to the about us page. Thank you for watching. This has been part five of this web design course. Please stick around.